everybody! What was that here? <laughs> Hi everybody, so today I am going to show you my sort of everyday makeup look, which is sort of a full makeup look, might not be your thing, but I really wanted to show you because I'm using lots of new products. If you're not subscribed already, please do, I'll leave a little link on screen and in the down bar below for you. And as always, I will list everything that's on my face in the down bar, and maybe some of my jewellery as well. So let's jump on into it. So first I'm going to use the Laura Mercier foundation primer and I've been loving this. I can't remember if it's this that is 20 SPF or if it's my foundation. But something that I put on my face is 20, which I quite like. So I'm just gonna smash this all over my face. And for foundation I am using the YSL Touche Eclat Le Tint. Um, and this is in B40 and I use between two and three little squirts of this depending on my sort of skin colour at the time because I tan but I'm quite dark today sort of around this area this is where I've got more pores and my tan always seems to sink into my pores so I like to start there first because this is a little bit lighter and obviously just using the sponge that I always use to whack this on seriously my poor face today smashing the primer whack on the foundation should have gone with two drops, definitely didn't need three. And I'm pretty sure I'm at the end of this to be honest with you. This is NARS Cappadoce and it's the matte, mud, matte multiple? I think it's a matte multiple anyway. Um, but guys, this I find so easy to just whack on. I don't use sort of thick lines with it now in my everyday but I do like to use a little bit of it. It gives me a little bit more um, sort of a contour to the face in my foundation. And I use this mirror every day, it's like a perfect size. Then I'm using my Real Techniques, what is this? 301, which is a little bit battered now to be honest with you because I'm currently shoving everything inside a makeup bag. For my nose then, I'm using a really little brush. Um, so just going back to the NARS Multiple. And I just like to do the two little angles that I can see on my nose there and just down the sides of my nose now go back and blend that in with my fingers so it's not such a harsh line and then concealing and highlighting still with this little beauty saying that I do switch between or I used to switch between the YSL um, Touche Clat but now I am using like everyday MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost and I just do a sort of triangle under the eyes, like this. And sort of do across the top of my lip, on the chin, and at the corner of the mouth. I like to take the excess of that at the side of the nose as well. And finally with this little beauty, I like to sort of do a another skinny triangle, that was not a triangle, <laughs> just above my brows and bring it down my nose. Guys, you've seen me do this like a million times, but this is what works best for my face. Now I'm gonna set all of that in place. I use the Laura, Se Laura Secret, Laura Miss is Secret Brightening Powder, and I haven't found something as good as this. I know you're probably sick of seeing me with this, but to be honest with you, I've not found anything as good. I might continue to use this in my everyday, but sort of experiment with some different ones just so you can see the difference. And then any excess, I like to sort of pat where we put that highlight. I still haven't bought my Laguna bronzer, which I love. <laughs> so I am using the Sleek palette. This is the Face Form Contouring and Blush palette in Light 373. I'm just using this shade though here, and this is just setting the areas that I contoured, give me a little bit more colour. I just quickly brush that around those areas. Oh my gosh. I've just realised that I didn't put the oil in my foundation, which I have been doing every single day since I got the Clarins oil. So I'm really annoyed at myself for not showing you that, but I did use it in the previous video showing you how I mixed it with my foundation and that is what I normally do. Sorry about that. And then 
then using the Too Faced, what is this? Too Faced Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. And this is in Sparkling Bellini. Um, I'm using this, but I'm mainly taking the sort of top two shades. You can see it's in three shades there. I'm taking the top two together. This is just going over the cheek area above that contour. And then I'm setting the rest of the face. I'm currently using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. You only need like a tiny little bit of this though because it goes a long way. And I just sort of do the areas that I haven't yet set. So, not many really. And then I have said goodbye, just for the meantime, to the um, Candlelight by, who is that by? Oh my God. That is how long I haven't used it for. But I am now using the Rodeal Instaglam Illuminating Powder in 01. And this has just become my sort of everyday whack it on. And I also take that just underneath the brow there. And I'm just gonna prime my eyes really quickly using the Urban Decay Anti-Age Primer. And I love the color this comes out. It's just so sort of brightening. Do you use any different primers? Are they better than this one? Let me know. Now I'm going straight into my brows just whilst that dries off a little bit. I'm using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in Soft Brown. And I sort of start at the front, do the underside first, filling in. I've got quite a big gap there. It's a lot lighter than the other part of my brow. And then I go to the top and sort of brush down and make some little hairs and then do the outside. I can do it more in depth brow tutorial if you'd like one. I'm gonna set those then with the medium brown brow drama, couldn't get that out. So I just sort of plop it on and just hope for the best. And onto the Amazonian clay palette. I just use two colors from here. So I use the lightest one, which is Super Mom, and then this one, which says Force of Nature. So lightest one, I pop all over my lid and then on a round brush the second colour I come about halfway across just go follow the sort of socket line and then come up towards my brow but not touching my brow so I've got that little highlight there and I take a little bit of that colour on the outer part of the lower lash line I feel like I want to do a really dramatic look for you soon not sure what eyeliner L'Oreal super liner black liqueur so I tend to Kind of. I kind of don't tend to go crazy with this on a daily basis. I start halfway, bring it across, do like a mini flick with my eye open, and then join the line. I said I don't go crazy now, I just slipped. <laughs> um, and then just go from the beginning and join it with the middle of the line. And I'm currently using Benefit Roller Lash. And I just sort of do one coat of this, and then if I can be bothered, <laughs> I'll go back over to just the outer part for a second coat. But to be honest with you, who's got time for that in the morning? My whole routine normally takes me about 15 minutes, I think. Any longer than that, and I just start to get really frustrated with myself in the morning that I'm taking that long to get ready. To the bottom lashes as well. And then this is also now in my daily routine since my last video. This is the Clarins Double Fix Mascara. So I've been sort of rolling this just on the top of the lashes. And guys, this has just made my mascara waterproof. It actually does what it says on the tin and fixed it in place. And finally onto lips, I normally sort of just grab my NARS lipstick that I wore in my wedding sort of video because it's like a nudie sort of pinky brown, terrible at explaining that, but it just goes on and it doesn't matter if I sort of get it anywhere because it looks natural. But at the moment I am using the, I bought another one of these because I love it so much, the NARS lip, no it's not a NARS one, it is a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat and this is a really strange shape. My sharpener is horrendous and whenever I sharpen something, it just annihilates the pencil, so I do need to get myself a new sharpener. Just outline with this. Ow, wood sticking into me right now. Not healthy. Note to self, will moisturize lips. I sort of drag the color through it then. And then I'm going on to Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. Just find that these two sort of work really well together. 
looks a lot better though if you don't have chapped lips like I do. And this I'm using daily as well. I was really impressed with this. This is the Clarins Fix It Fix Makeup. This is just a fix it spray and I'll just do two squirts of this. Make sure I don't open my eyes. Okay, so that is the end of my tutorial. I mean, this might be way too much makeup for some of you for a daily basis, but this is currently what I'm liking. Sometimes I just like a little flick of mascara, a bit of sort of, what's it called? Concealer, and a bit of lipstick, and I will go out the door, but it depends on how I am feeling. But currently, I am liking a full look, even though they're sort of natural shades. I am finding that the combination of what I've got on at the moment is lasting and I'm liking how my skin is looking at the moment with the foundation and the primer. So for the next few weeks guys I am promising you three videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. Um, I'm also going to be daily vlogging but I'm going to upload every other day so keep an eye on my other channel for me. But anyway thank you so much for watching guys. I really can't wait to see what you thought about this look. I know it's quite heavy and it's not for everybody but Eh. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye!